The space shuttle Atlantis is scheduled to lift off in less than three hours, and of course CNN will carry the launch live. This is only the second time a shuttle has been launched at night, and the rocket's glare should be visible from 400 miles away. CNN's Tom Mintier joins us now with more on the mission. Tom? Well, actually, right now the crew is on the way to pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. They are preparing uh, to suit up uh, once they arrive at the pad. Uh, they're heading down a, a road that stretches for several miles that leads up to where the Atlantis is parked. Just a few moments ago, uh, they got into their uh, astro van, as they call it, and uh, they slept till 3 o'clock Eastern time this afternoon uh, because they will be working most of the night tonight. It will prepare them for the seven days of the mission. They will be working uh, not round the clock as we've seen in, in past missions, but uh, because the three satellites they have on board they'll be launching in the next 48 hours, uh, they will uh, need to start working at uh, these hours. One of the astronauts you see getting on board is uh, the first Mexican astronaut, uh, Neri Vila. He's a 33-year-old communications engineer who's going to observe the launching of Mexico's second satellite that will be used to launch or take a look at the earthquake areas of the country. He doesn't feel, though, that he's a hero. I don't like thinking of myself as a hero. I don't think I am a hero. I think I am just one member of the Mexican society. And I hope that I can contribute somehow uh, you excited, for the though? benefit of everybody. Are you excited? Very much so, yes. One of the more exciting parts of this mission will be two spacewalks, six hours each, where they will uh, attempt to practice building the large permanent space station the U.S. plans for the early 1990s. 93 rods, three to four feet long, will be snapped together somewhat like a tinker toy outside of the space shuttle. This will help NASA decide whether they're going to use robots to put the uh, uh, small, the large tower together or uh, do it with human hands. This is the Kennedy Space Center where in less than three hours Atlantis will be launched. It is only the second nighttime launch and it's expected to be quite spectacular. Of course, CNN will have live coverage of the launch and the entire mission for the next seven days. Done it all? Can't wait. Thank you, Tom. That is Newsday for this Tuesday afternoon. I'm Bella Shaw. And I'm Don Miller. Coming up on CNN... The more. Space Shuttle Atlantis is being fueled in preparation for its launch this evening. NASA says the countdown is going smoothly, the weather is fine, and the launch should take place as scheduled at 7.29 p.m. Eastern Time. We're now looking at live pictures being sent to us by NASA of the uh, launch pad at Cape Canaveral. The shuttle mission will be lasting a week, and the seven astronauts who will be on board will launch three satellites and also practice construction techniques necessary for building space stations. Two astronauts will try to build a 45-foot beam and a small pyramid during the two spacewalks. The Space Shuttle Atlantis is being fueled for a nighttime launch on a mission that features three satellite launchings, an international crew, and spacewalks to practice for space station construction. Those are the headlines. I'm Alan Martin. The person crew was asleep until a half hour ago trying to adjust to the mission schedule. Two of the astronauts will do some fancy spacewalking during the week-long mission, practicing construction work for a future space station. And the first Mexican astronaut will help to launch a communication satellite for his country. Electric space shuttle Atlantis is being fueled for a nighttime launch on a mission that features three satellite launchings, an international crew, and spacewalks to practice for space station construction. One hour live coverage of the launch of the space shuttle Atlantis, which is now on the launch pad. We understand from NASA, all systems are go. It should be a pretty one. We'll see you tomorrow on Newswatch. during the crisis. In less than an hour, the space shuttle Atlantis will make her way to the heavens. The nighttime launch is set for 7.29 Eastern Time. Officials say the Florida skies are clear, so the blazing liftoff may be visible along the Atlantic coast from South Carolina to Cuba. During the week-long mission, astronauts will launch three satellites and use a special camera to search for underground water in drought-stricken Africa. And the Space Shuttle Atlantis is in its final preparations for launch from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We'll go down now for a live picture from the launch pad as Atlantis is uh, in the last uh, one minute of uh, counting. They are uh, in preparation for a seven-day mission where they will launch uh, three commercial satellites, one for the government of Mexico, one for Australia, 
and another for RCA. Interestingly, the RCA satellite is a self-insured satellite. It's a satellite that is insured by RCA. It's $100 million worth of satellite. Also on this mission, we will see the preparations for putting together uh, what will be the space station uh, in the 1990s. Uh, they're going to use two techniques uh, during two six-hour spacewalks, which will occur on Friday and Sunday, to see how to, they uh, build a space station. Let's listen in now to the uh, final 15 seconds of the countdown. T-minus 15 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff of the space shuttle, and it has cleared the tower. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Roger, roll, Atlantis. As promised, Atlantis uh, lit up the sky over southern Florida, so much so that the television cameras around the launch pad apparently couldn't handle the brightness uh, of the 700-foot uh, flame coming out from the solid uh, rockets of the uh, space shuttle. They uh, are about uh, three minutes away from uh, the main engine cutoff where uh, the uh, tanks that are in the center of your screen will cut back and separate from the space shuttle as it continues on its way. It appears that the uh, launch has gone off with, without a hitch, and uh, the seven-member crew, six men and one woman, begin the <coughs> seven days in space. It will be a very busy time with two six-hour spacewalks to construct the 40-foot tower that will uh, be the forerunner to the construction of a space station in the 1990s. And uh, now we're seeing the uh, solid rockets separating from the space shuttle, and we see the three small dots which are the glows of the shuttle engine as they prepare for their seven day mission in space velocity 5700 feet per second altitude 27 nautical miles downrange distance 36 nautical miles although the space program is four and a half years old and this is the 23rd voyage of the space shuttle this is only the second time that they have launched the spacecraft at night. The last time was in 1983 when Challenger was sent up at night, and uh, that time they had a cloud cover where you couldn't see pictures like this. It was only visible about as far south as Miami, but they say this time that the launch was probably visible as far south as Cuba and as far north as the Carolinas. Second altitude, 38 nautical miles, downrange distance 67 nautical miles. The picture you're seeing is from a long-range tracking camera that NASA has. They're uh, almost 70 miles uh, from the Kennedy Space Center now. Provides a very close-up view. So Atlantis is now on its way in preparation for what promises to be a very active seven days in space. NASA is now on its once-a-month launch schedule. This being Thanksgiving week, the astronauts will be getting a Thanksgiving meal. Turkey and all the trimmings are aboard, and they will have that on Thursday, as well as being able to watch football. It's going to be beamed up to the astronauts so they can watch the games. We, of course, will have continuing coverage throughout the Atlantis mission here on CNN.